Hey y'all, come with me on a rainy day vlog. Um, I gotta run some errands, so we're gonna go to the fish store, we're gonna go to the hair store, cause I wanna extend my locks um, for an upcoming party. And probably go pick up some dinner food to cook tonight, so stay tuned. Cute little rainy day fit check, you feel me? But why did I leave my Crocs in the car one day? and they dang near shrunk like it was my size but now okay whatever let's go so this is what it was looking like outside and y'all please excuse my voice i have a little bit of a cold so if it get the cracking sorry it's my baby cherry yo it's thundering Anyways, we're in the car on the way to the first location. Y'all see how crazy they be driving? I mean, I be pissed every time I drive. Finally, though, we pulling up to the hair store. Okay, it's raining, but we could have just go for it. We right there, so let's go. Okay, it's not that bad. It's a little wet, but I got locks, so I don't mind. Okay, we'll be here. Isn't the inside of this place just the cutest thing ever? Like this flower wall, I love it. Do 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 do. Just walking down the aisles. I really don't know what I want to get, but like looking at stuff. So I seen these locks. I'm like, okay, okay. I seen the Cuban twist. Here go my color. That one for real though. But I be doing both. Nah, I was looking at the price, five ninety nine. That was cool, but judging how long I wanted it, it wasn't gonna work. So then I seen this mannequin head wig and I was like, okay, this is cute. I could do this with twists, like the bohemian, all of that. But then I seen this one. I'm like, okay, curly ends. I like that too. Okay, okay. Giving me some inspo, you feel me? So I walk down the next aisle. I see this is the hair they probably use for that black. Yeah. But I touched it, y'all. No. Mm-mm. And you know I had to re-up on my favorite shampoo and conditioner. I decided not to do my hair, so we headed out now in the line. Back secured, and I had to come back and take a selfie. Cause this is cute. Right. Okay, y'all, I'm back in the car, and we finna go get the pre-snack to dinner snack. Yeah, before I go grocery shopping too, cause you can't go grocery shopping while hungry, so. I'm just gonna save myself that trouble and go ahead and eat before I go shopping. The hard part is where are we finna go? I don't know, do you? Okay, I know where I'm going now. Can you guess where? If you guessed Chick-fil-A, you was right. I usually don't eat here too much, but I was just craving it on this day, and it happened to not be a Sunday. So, that's where we went. Y'all see this big old puddle? Like, it was raining outside. Like, raining. Flooding. And then this line, girl. Okay, y'all. I got my boo. I'm gonna sit here and eat this. This is not gonna be a mukbang. I'm gonna do one later at another day, but not today. And I'm gonna sit here and watch my favorite Sim YouTuber, Trust Out Z, in the newest Popeyes episode. And I'll see y'all after I get done eating. So, yeah. Okay, done. Now we go ahead to the grocery store. So, where do y'all like to shop? I like to shop at like everywhere for real, but I get most of my stuff from Walmart, but I'm trying to start going to Aldi's now. She from the jungle. She from the jungle. I hate driving in the rain. That's when people get to cutting up. They don't they act like they don't know how to drive. They be switching legs, they be speeding. Like please. Okay. Go around me. You could go around. I don't care. I just put up in this bitch. And I'm function with my crib. I just needed y'all to hear how loud it was actually raining. Somebody please send help, like help. But anyways, we here at Audi's. Got my quarter just in case. Indeed I did need it. I'm not here to play with nobody's kids. Give me them cheeses. thank you. 
Okay, my bad, y'all. But I'm gonna just get a few things, see what deals they got. I need some bread. Also, I couldn't decide which apples to get. Should I get Honeycrisp or Ambrosia? I don't know. I got Ambrosia. Okay, my budget is $100. I think I'm gonna make it. I think I'm gonna make some stuffed bell peppers tonight. Look at these. This is gonna look good. Put some rice, chicken. All of that. Let yeah, me get to it. Okay, help y'all. I need to get off like one and chips and get onto something a little bit more healthier. I was doing like Chex Mix for a little bit. That was good. Um, and I can go back to it, but you know, I want some options. So let me know in the comments if y'all got good alternatives. Need some syrup. Thank you. Have y'all ever tried these before? Let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and try it though and let y'all know too. Cause me and Jada back in the gym. Then I see some air fresheners. I'm like, okay, they got clean linen. I needed two. Thank you. So here go one. Then I had to search, y'all. Search, search. But there you go. Needed one of them too. Thank you. I was tempted because that salmon was looking good. I'll take the chicken thigh. Thank you. I didn't even realize how loud it really is up in here, but yeah, I'm on my way to check out now. And there was no line, period. I'm so mad I forgot my reusable bags. I was gonna go get my fishies today, but uh, it's raining way too hard. I'ma just go home. We are gonna try again tomorrow with them. But yes, rain, rain, go away, come back again, never. Thank you. Oh, it's lighting up, come on. <laughs> but all right, y'all, uh, see you back at the house. Like be so for real, I can't even see it on the highest setting. No, because wait, it stopped raining. I'm right here by the fish store, so. I might, I'm about to go spin the block. I'm about to go spin the block and I'm gonna go get my fishies because this rain is bipolar. Let me just grab them and go home. Like, that's it. I was gonna go to Walmart too or somewhere else to do like my part two of shopping what I didn't get from all these. But I might just have to Walmart order that and go pick it up. Mm -hmm. Like tomorrow or something because I'm not gonna play. So yeah, I'll see you at the fish store. So y'all. This isn't just any fish store. This is the reef. This is the best one in Indianapolis. And my mom used to take me as a little girl and it looks exactly the same. I love this place so much. So when you first walk in, you got all your equipment for your fish tanks and all of that. You look to the left, that's your saltwater tanks. I'll take y'all back there another day. You got all the decorations in the back. Hi. They got a parrot up in here. Hi. <laughs> Angelfish, the natural habitat. Oh my gosh, I don't think they got the ones that I had before. So sad. Where's some peace to them for real? It's too late. So when I was growing up, my mom had only angelfish in her fish tank, which are these, and they come in so many different breeds. As you can see, and look how big they can get. Like, this one was the size of my hand, pretty much. I was shocked. They got silver, gold, black, multicolor, anything you could think of. They're so cute. Here goes some more. I love the zebra stripe ones. They're the meanest. Yo, look at this huge Pleco. All of these fish in this tank was huge. You literally can't even tell. They have one of these guys in the back. Look. And this is just the little back room area. They got more decorations back here too. And yeah, that's pretty much it. He back at my fish up and we finna go. So 
safety first, my loves. Got to make sure that they are buckled in nice and tight. Okay, now I'll see you at home. And we're home giving you very much aquarium ASMR. You can hear them bumping the bag. They ready to get out. So I'm gonna place them in the aquarium. They'll sit for about maybe 10 minutes just so they can get acclimated to the tank. I also have bought a new heater. So this is me installing that as well. Ooh, I must have scared my Pleco cause he came running up to the front. Y'all see him? Look, look, look. He ran up in a crusty crab now. No, but his favorite place to hide is the chum bucket. And I don't know why. The crusty cry it. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. At this point, I've been struggling for a good minute. So one sec, one sec. Nah, don't y'all say nothing about this knife, okay? It cuts, so it cuts. So I'm gonna use it. I finally got the bag open. I'm gonna grab my little fishies out. They interact like they're not ready to go. Like, come on, get in this net. Um, hello? Hello? Finally, I got them out. And there they go. He wasn't trying to come up out the net. I said, let's go. Welcome, my little fishies, to your new fish tank. I hope you enjoy. They started playing together, swimming around and exploring. So cute. Look at them. Y'all like the SpongeBob tank? They must have already had a dynamic going because they like play fighting, but whatever. They better stop that. Be friends. So it was about this point where I realized that this little fishy up in the front right here was acting just a little bit strange. I wasn't too, too worried, so I just decided to go ahead and give them some food because they probably haven't eaten yet. And then, look, he got to moving real slow, real funny. I'm like, no, what's going on? I done seen this before. This looks too familiar. Don't die on me, please. I mean, like, I'm in here tapping on the tank. He not responding. I'm getting nervous. I'm starting to sweat. Like, please, 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 please. Literally just make it through the night, please. Then I'm like, okay, well, like, how is the other one doing? I don't even see him. So I come around to the other side. I'm like, where is he at? Like, do I see him? Hello? I think they're dying. What the fuck? Where are you going? The one that was going crazy, he, he just stopped. And then the other one is just duck in the back. Hold on, let me see. It gave they were acting weird. He's he's like at the ground now. And he's just resting. Like he's still upright, but he kinda came to the bottom. He's it looks like he's breathing hard. Where the other one go? What the heck? The other one's trying to get up in this plant back here and hide. I can't watch him. So at this point, I'm worried. My boyfriend, he told me, see if he's reacting to the net. So that's just what I'm about to do because I don't know anything else. I didn't want to do it at first because I didn't want to stress him out too much. But I'm like, he is literally not even moving no more. Like, let me just see if he'll move if the net comes by. And he does. He jumped right up out the way. So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to just leave him alone. I'm going to just let him do their thing in the tank. I'm going to keep a close eye on him. And I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. So I went to go do some dishes because I had been watching them for like an hour just praying. So watch them for me while I'm doing the dishes. Thanks. After I finished the dishes, I checked on them one more time and they seem to be still doing okay. So we all went to sleep. Good night. Yeah. Lord, in your name, I pray that my fishies last through the night and that they will live and be okay. Amen. 
Good morning. It was a rough night, but my fishes are alive and they're well. And I'm finna give them some breakfast. Look at them swimming around with energy. Oh my gosh. So happy. Y'all gotta help me with some names for these two. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. If y'all curious what happened to my first baby fishies, stay tuned. I'ma have a story time soon. <laughs> that was the best fishies I could ever ask for. They just swimming, catching the food, eating. Oh my goodness. Like, what should I name them? I usually name them all personalities, but I don't know. Drop some names in the comment below. We got the bigger one that's at the bottom, and we got the smaller one that low key is a buoy. Like, tell me what y'all thinking. I think they got a thing with mirrors or the side of my fish tank give mirror because they be confused. Like, quit hitting the wall. Anyways, that's it for this video. They are doing well and still alive to this day. <laughs> so I'll see y'all next time.